So this is a Mayo Fashion Release video and in this particular video, I'll be focusing on the shoulder area, alright? Um, so I know that uh, maybe for some of us, yeah, if we've been um, doing a lot of work at, at, on a desk, we're seated and uh, we, the shoulders keep rolling forwards this way, but maybe we're always hunched forwards, whether you're at a desk or maybe it's any other um, activity that you're doing that um, requires you to kind of be in this slightly rounded position for a while. Uh, maybe you have been doing some workouts um, that require you uh, to use a lot of the upper back area here and you need to keep maybe pressing into the palms so you keep um, bring, drawing the chest inwards this way or maybe you're lifting weights as well and applying um, a lot of um, pressure into the arms but you need to keep rounding into the shoulders to get um, that lift so any of the activities or maybe you just really always had um, tension in this area okay so now for this uh, particular video uh, we'll be using the release ball okay so you can go ahead and grab a ball and uh, if you don't have a release ball you can always use a tennis ball as well um, or maybe something of similar size um, it's best if you do have a release ball because um, it'll be really good uh, they're really solid and firm so that when you apply pressure onto the ball it gives you that support. It's also pliable um, because it's firm, but it's not hard and not a hard surface that there's no movement, so it doesn't injure the body part or the body area. And also, when I uh, bring the ball against bare skin and I'm doing movement and I'm drawing the ball um, away or just bring movement into that space here, so there's a little bit of traction with the grippiness of the ball as it pulls. The skin and then it pulls all the layers underneath as well and then that's how we release all the fascia um, into that space okay uh, one other uh, um, prop or kind of tool that you need will be the wall space here okay so um, to kind of see where the muscles are just to kind of show you where the muscles are it is the um, upper legs okay so the upper legs they're really easy to find if you um, try to just kind of feel where your collarbone is, okay, the front side of the torso here. And then slowly trying to find where the shoulder blades are. Okay, you can use the palm to just kind of give a sweep around to see where the blades are and then slowly draw it upwards so that you start to feel where the top of the shoulder blade is, where the bone is before you come into flesh. So it's really that space that is in between the collarbones and the tops of the shoulder blades. So for me, my bone is here. It's uh, yeah, it's solid here when you palpate. <laughs> so it's that spot here. Okay, and you can see. I hope here. Okay, into this area here. Yeah, these are the upper legs. All right. So if you notice, uh, there's not a lot. It's not a very a wide amount of space um, you, you just want to make sure that you're getting into the right spot for the area here okay um, and uh, before we begin we'll just do a quick check in for the upper legs okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and extend the arms up okay reach the arms forwards and then you can bring the arms down and slowly bring it up again reaching it forwards and then bring it down. So you're doing this a couple of times just to really feel and sense right how the body's feeling with the movements right now. Okay? Good. Alright, so we're going to grab one ball and we're gonna use the wall space. So Okay, feeling where it is, alright, so from the collarbone, you can see my collarbone sticks up. <laughs> and then that space, okay, uh, where it's flesh before I come towards the top of the shoulder blade, so the space here. I'm going to place it into the spot and then I'm just going to lean back uh, and against the wall this way here. So the body might angle out slightly. Now if you want to go ahead and do this while you're standing, um, you can do that. If it's easier and you get maybe, uh, it's easier to control the movement this way, you can do it standing. 
Um, I just prefer to do it sitting because uh, I have the wall close by and it's easier for me to do this as well. So just placing it here into that spot and then what we're going to do is really simple. Um, I'm just going to roll it out side to side this way. So, okay, you can go ahead and sometimes um, adjust the position of the ball because obviously the shoulders are not in a linear line, right? Sometimes there's a bit of a slope, right? So you can go ahead and adjust the position of the ball so it does get into the right area. You want to make sure that you're getting into the soft tissues and you're not pressing into that bone space, okay? Here, a couple of times this way, just moving forwards and backwards. All right, and you can even stay in that one spot for a while, and then maybe now you can extend the arm, okay, forwards and upwards, bring it forwards and downwards. Okay, so it might be easier to do this movement when you're standing. You can also do it while you're seated. Maybe it's just that the range of movement is um, not as wide. Mm -hmm. So just a couple of times. And then you can go ahead and do the other side. Um, so make sure that for whichever movement that you're doing, whether you're doing the rolling, okay, or you're doing uh, the pin and stretch with the arm movement, doing it for at least 15 to 20 times on one technique before you switch to another one and definitely before you move into the other side. So once you're done on both sides, you can come up and then do a quick check again uh, to kind of just see how the muscles and the body feels here. So you're going to bring the arms upwards, okay, opening out, drawing circles, and then just sensing and feeling how the movement feels like. You can go into opposite direction as well. So you bring the arms forwards and down. Okay, so I hope um, that you've found some release that way. If you haven't quite felt it yet, yeah, make sure that you come back to it. And you can always remember what I said, you can always change the position of the ball slightly because sometimes we do need to move the ball just a little bit more and then maybe hold there for a bit, maybe about another 10 more breaths, about a minute or so for us to get a really nice release into the entire area here, okay? So thank you for joining me for this video. I hope to see you in the next one as well. Bye!